your boobs are not perky you don't have to wear a bra why would you want me to wear a bra it's just not right forget about the cleavage oh my god i kitty her back I didn't. a malignant narcissist is someone that expects me to wear a bra there's nothing like push up when you're this big with great power comes great responsibility <laughs> Hey babies, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Eva, aka Goddess of Self Love, aka Nigerian Doll. I'm glad you found me. Don't leave without clicking the subscribe button, okay? So, in today's video, I will be giving you, as you can tell from the title of the video, how to maintain yourself as a busty woman part two. Yes. <laughs> If you've not watched the part one, I will link it in the description and I hope you go watch, enjoy, share and let me know what you think, okay? So babies, these are literally like practical tips, realistic tips, okay? These are not tips that I went to research from the internet. These are realistic tips, practical tips that, as you can see, as a woman who is who has fuller boobs, who is a 36 double K cup, these are really practical tips and i hope that this somehow helps you to survive as a woman with full of booze because with great power comes great responsibility okay so i've written down some of these tips on my notes and the first tip would be baby to um not always having access for me i do have OTC ointments at my disposal every time in my skincare bag. Now, what are OTC ointments? These are over the counter ointments. Some of them include like a skinel, um, ampicillin, um, hydrocortisone creams. Babies, when I tell you, for some reason, you would never come to my skincare bag without seeing any of these creams mentioned because maybe this, these creams are going to help you for when the days when you have maybe irritations or when you have like friction underneath your boobs or just generally when you have like rashes. Some of some women that I know have these rashes a lot. In fact, recently I was speaking to a woman and she was telling me her struggles of how she has as much as boils. And that was new to me because I didn't know some of the busty babies be dealing with stuff like this. Maybe I can't relate because I don't really be wearing bras a lot, but we're going to get into that, okay? So moving on to number two. Number two, I have applying powder under your boobs. Yeah, this second, uh, let me tell you, baby, this second number is very, very important. Always have like plain powders, non-scented powders. This will help, of course, because some of us sweat a lot underneath the boobs. We got to keep the boob area like dry and free of moist. So a pro tip, like I said, always have a powder, okay? I don't know. Some people use dusting powder. I, for one, have never used dusting powder. I like to use the non-scented uh, powders, okay? These ones are not harsh, okay? Um, moving on, the next tip would be being gentle while showering with your boobs in general. Babies, when I was younger, yeah, I don't know what it was. Not even when I was younger. Sometimes I still get carried away. Like, I really be scrubbing the titties. Like, I'm, <laughs> I don't know what the issue was or why I used to shower like that. But maybe something happened recently that made me realize, like, <sighs> you got to lay low. You got to lay low, okay? Um, if you guys watched... To the last beach day vlog from my friend's birthday you would notice when i said that my nipples were burning so much i don't know what it was all i know is i came out the shower and my nipples it started with one nipple and then proceeded to the next nipple and it was burning so much to the point that i was doing my makeup and crying baby let me let me tell you this being a woman with fuller boobs comes 
for its own like disadvantages and these are some of it but i'm telling you for free that you can also cope with it and everything is just going to be just fine all i did was i applied a hydrocortisone cream and also used ice on the area and it just disappeared to this day i do not know what might have triggered that but i've just always just i've just decided to be more gentle with the babies whenever i do take a shower even just cleaning my body with a towel i really just dab if that makes sense meanwhile if you've gotten to this part of the video and you like it so far don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share and i'll just tell me what you think in general so moving on to the next tip um the third the third uh i don't know what number it is but the next tip is avoid tight fitted clothing with certain materials yes of course i had to learn the hard way with this as well remember these are practical tips i should write it let me tell you baby i am an expert when it comes to these things because i mean look at me i am an expert so whatever i say what tip i give you baby best believe that it is a practical tip it is a realistic tip and it's gonna it's gonna help you i promise you i promise you if any of these tips that did not work for you i challenge you i dare you to come back in the comments and tell me eva this is not this did not work for me and i'll tell you what you did wrong okay uh because it it, it do be working um so the next tip like i said is avoiding tight fitted materials we already shouldn't like uh dive into this this is very self-explanatory um the next tip is avoid overextending the straps of your bras babies i cannot say this uh, like i cannot stop i cannot get tired of saying this of preaching this gospel your boobs are not perky if you're 36 k cup if matter of fact if you're a d cup and upward your boobs are not perky over stretching and over adjusting the straps of your bra it's not gonna make it perky it's not <sighs> forget about the cleavage i mean of course you're gonna look put together as a busty woman but over extending the bra straps is only gonna do it's only going to do this harm it's gonna do your back harm it's, it's, it's just not right okay i'm telling you please babies it's not worth it it's only gonna leave this marks here i wish i knew this earlier i wish someone had told me earlier when you go for your bra fittings they're gonna try to tell you oh like push it up there's nothing like push up when you're this big there's nothing like that resist the urge to over do things because here is going to suffer it okay so the next tip is some of you might not like this okay but it is what it is the next tip is baby you don't have to wear a bra all the time okay matter of fact you don't have to because who made the rules honey who made the rules okay um okay i'm, I'm just I'm not joking actually but it is what it is i've learned that whenever i don't feel like wearing a bra left for me a malignant narcissist is someone that expects me to wear a bra from morning to night matter of fact i have just a, a six hour window to wear a bra for me i'm wearing a bra going to errands or going to a meeting coming back and flinging the shit out of the bra because you you want me to die you're trying to stop my Listen, I'm getting emotional talking about that because why would you want me to wear a bra for the whole day? <laughs> it's just not right. Okay. Um, I, I'm not going to cry. Don't cry either. Don't cry. Um, the next point is practice an all-round hygiene and invest in self-care. Yes, I do say this a lot because if you have fuller boobs, chances are like you're going to get special treatment you're gonna have to give yourself special treatment you're gonna have to tell yourself that you're not gonna do things the way with women with smaller boobs do things you're not going to just wear any bra you're not just going to put on any outfit it just comes with you paying more attention to yourself okay um yeah so the last tip is there anything i'm leaving out let me see let me see let me see um yeah the last tip will be uh it's not the last tip okay we do have one more the second to last tip is avoid spraying your under boobs to avoid irritation 
babies i experienced this also uh firsthand recently i was rushing to go out and i sprayed underneath my titties i don't know if it was chanel number two and maybe it did not it did not go together with my babies at all i just noticed that two days after the, underneath my boobs would be so hot and i'll just be like what the hell happened like why is it so hot why does this feel weird and it's like it kept on happening until of course i used powder underneath and then it stopped ever since then i just avoid anything scented underneath my boobs to be honest i just generally do not indulge okay and the last tip of course like i said if you've gotten to this part of the video and you like this content so far you know any curvy babies that this would benefit just forward it to them okay you don't know you might just be doing lots of work okay so the last tip is um just make sure you exercise okay practice back exercises you don't have to do anything so vigorous women like me who have fuller boobs really like to exercise but me on the other, other hand i do enjoy exercising if you watch my vlogs you see that i enjoy home workouts a lot and i just practice good posture overall because i've been a victim of lutrosis and i never ever want to experience that ever again people always see women with fuller boobs and say oh my god i pity her back i do it that never happens to me the only time it did happen to me was when I did have the ludicrous situation and that was as a result of not practicing good posture and also my mattress. So yeah, uh, we've come to the end of this video. Like I said, if this video was helpful to you, leave a comment and I will be in the comment to respond to you. Don't also forget to share and subscribe and I will see you in my next one.